Hi, my name is Emily Greenberg, and for this week, I'm going to be discussing urban education and particularly the injustices and inequalities that take place in urban schools. So right off the bat, I do want to talk about how we've read that urban schools are quote unquote failing. And in some ways, I do agree with the statement. And in other ways, I don't necessarily believe that is true. A lot of the kids who go to urban schools are gaining some type of social cues and these social experiences that a student that's all white and goes to an all white school will never really understand or gain. And in the real world, I believe that it's important that you have knowledge of every race and you know how to communicate with everyone in a respectful way and a respectful manner. And in urban schools, there definitely is this hierarchy And this touches back on the New York Times article we read this upcoming week. And it talked about how white people bring value. And in a school system, that shouldn't be the case at all. Every student has the same value, regardless of their skin tone, you know, their religion, sex, however they identify themselves. And due to the fact we have an implicit bias, it makes me wonder, will this hierarchy ever break? Because even though you might say, oh, I think everyone's equal, you're automatically still going to have an assumption, whether you believe it or not, tied to some race or some sexual identity. And I think it's really important that we change that. And in a way, I do believe that urban schools are failing solely due to the fact that these schools aren't provided the same materials or the same opportunities that a white school would get. And you see it on the news. You see that, you know, the roofs are caving in and there's mold on the walls and the classrooms are overcrowded. And so right then and there, that does exemplify that, okay, maybe these urban schools are failing in that particular area. And I also want to talk about how in urban schools, it's so important that we have the children embrace who they are, who culturally and so on. And I want to talk about a school in Texas, actually, who a Latino teacher created a after school program for students who are Mexican and Latino and almost, you know, struggling and dropping out of school. They were that close. And this group that he created drastically changed their lives. And they started doing great grade wise and in school behaviorally. But then the administration felt some type of way like, oh, this is a this is a cult against white people. And it turned into a really big ordeal and council had to deal with it. And eventually it got shut down and all those students who were in the program felt like they lost everything. And like I said, in, in those urban schools, we should be embracing every race, everything. There should be cultural exposure and that should be normal. And it makes me question whether the hierarchy in these urban schools will ever necessarily go away. And also, I think that the hierarchy is tied in with the stigma of urban, which we read in the first week of class, what is urban. And I think that everyone has their own definition of what exactly that is. But it's so vital and important that we change the way things things are happening in today's society. And we might not really think about it and we might not discuss it, but there still is racism and segregation going on in schools. And whether or not you believe it personally, it's a thing. And I believe that it's so important to have a diverse staff and have staff that has been through an urban education or an urban school and has gotten that experience and also have staff that has been to an all white school or is just has never grown up in a diverse area because together they can work together and make a school or have some type of curriculum that's accepting for every student, regardless of how they look. And in a way, I think this will make a change for all school systems and break that hierarchy that comes with urban education and the stigma surrounding it.